Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Eloquent Relationship 1 to 1. 1 to 1 relationship is a very simple and basic. You have to make sure that one of the table has a key that references the ID of the other table. For understanding this 1 to 1 relationship, I will create two tables, uh, Users table and uh, Phones table. Okay? Both tables are connected with each other uh, by the foreign key. So let's create model and migration. User model and migration are created by default. Okay? You can see. So switch to the project and just go inside the app directory and HTTP, uh, sorry, models. And here you can see user model. Okay? Which is created by default. And inside the database directory, then migration. And here you can see the users uh, migration. Okay. Now let's create model and migration for the phones table. So switch to the command prompt and here just type the command php artisan make colon model space model name which is phone and also create the migration. So just write here dash m. Okay. Now press enter. Alright, model and migration both are created. Now switch to the project and uh, just open phone migration, create uh, phone table migration. And here let's add some column. So just write here dollar table. Arrow, uh, string, data type of string and here just add the column name which is phone okay and here just add the another column user id data type uh, big integer so just write here small uh, big integer okay and add here the column name user underscore id okay also un un unsigned so just write here unsigned Alright, now add the foreign key. So just write here dollar table foreign and add here the column name. This one user ID and just add the references. References with a column ID of users table. Okay, so just write here on table name which is users so just write here users okay and on delete just add here cascade all right now save this file and uh, go to the users model so just inside the app models and here just open user model okay and let's add a function inside this model so just write here public function function name phone and inside this just return dollar this has one okay and just add here the path of the uh, phone model so just write here app slash models okay and then model name which is phone okay now save this file and now just go to the phone model and here first of all add the table name so just write here protected dollar table is equal to table name which is phones just copy and paste here. Now add here the function. So just write here public function function name user and here just return dollar this arrow belongs to 
and just add the path of user model okay so just write here app models slash user all right now save this file now let's migrate the migration so switch to the command prompt and here just type command php artisan migrate okay now press enter all right uh, all migration migrated now let's create a controller uh, for testing the one to one relationship so just type here command php artisan make colon controller a space controller name say controller name is user controller okay now press enter now switch to the project now just open the host controller user controller okay and inside this controller let's create a function for inserting record so just type here public function and function name insert records okay and inside this just write here dollar phone is equal to new phone okay and here just add this model so just write here use app slash models slash phone okay also add the user model so just write here use app slash models slash user okay now here just write dollar phone and uh, set the phone number so just write here it's a one two three four five six seven eight nine zero all right now here just write user is equal to new user all right and set the username so just write here dollar user name is equal to let's say name Jennifer all right dollar user set the email id email uh, sorry Jennifer at the rate gmail.com okay now here just add user password okay so just write here password is equal to use the encrypt function so just write here encrypt and inside this add the password let's say password is secret okay now save the user so just write here user and call the save method okay and also save the phone so just write here user phone and here just call the save function and inside this just pass this phone okay dollar phone and simply return a message a record has been created okay successfully now save this file and uh, let's create the route so just open web.php file just go inside the routes folder and just open web.php and here let's create a new route so just write here route get and function uh, URI just add here add user okay and controller name just add here the controller name inside the big bracket user controller okay also add here this one all right app http controllers user controller all right and here just write column column class and add here the function name which is 
insert record okay so just copy and paste here all right now save this file all right now let's take this so first of all just run the application so just write here php artisan sir okay now switch to the browser and just go to the url add dash user and you can see here records has been created successfully okay now go to the php my admin and just open database which is laravel 8 pro db2 and here just open you just you just table and phone stable okay and you can see here user added the refer and this mail and password okay inside the phone stable you can see here phone number and user id one okay all right now let's fetch uh, this record so go to the user controller and let's create here a function for fetching the record so just write here public function and function name let's say function name is fetch phone by user okay just add here the parameter id all right and here just write phone is equal to user find and just pass here the id okay and call phone all right now just return dollar phone okay now save this file and let's create the route so go to the web.php and here just write route get add the uri get phone okay and here just add the parameter id okay then controller name which is user controller so just write here user controller colon colon class and function name which is this one page phone by user just paste here all right now save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser what is the uri hit phone okay and id and just here inside the uri just add here get phone and add here the user id one okay so just write here one and you can see here the phone number where user id is one okay so in this way you can use one to one eloquent relationship in laravel 8 so that's all about one to one eloquent relationship thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching